All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to fix your spreader. I've got the Scott's Edge Builder, Edge Guard, Turf Builder, whatever it is. Um, and what ends up happening is as I'm going down, um, as I'm pushing this down the lawn, the spreader is not uh, functioning. It's not turning. Um, so I'm going to show you how I diagnosed it and uh, what it turned out to be. Uh, as you notice, you can be rolling this thing down. It's just not wanting to spin. And we take a look at this one, same thing. Let's go ahead and take these off. And I believe it is just these right here. Squeeze. Squeeze these off. I think you already see what's happening here. All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, there you go. You see how that's all corroded? So what I believe is supposed to happen, or at least one of the mechanisms, is that that is supposed to grab on in there somehow and twist this thing. Because when you twist this, you see that? It turns. So, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And that is, we're going to drill a hole. We're going to drill a hole through here, and hopefully hit here, and then put a pin or something. Uh, so that when this turns, it takes it with it. So let's give it a try. All right, so we went ahead and grabbed a drill. We went ahead and drilled a hole right through the whole thing. So we put that through. I thought it was going to be too long, but it turned out it was barely even long enough. So I was able to get it in there. But as you can see, now it takes the axle with it. And it turns everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this one too, just, just so that I can get you know, the best, because I know sometimes, you know, one has traction, the other one doesn't. Um, and then the other thing that I think is going to happen is, given how corroded this is, I think over time it's going to put stress on this, and I just think it's going to break. Um, but, you know, we're going to get as much life out of it as we can, so let's go ahead and, and knock this one out next. Alright, so this other one was a little bit more difficult to put on. As you can see, it's barely on. Should have used a longer one, maybe thrown a washer in there, but again, just for the sake of time and getting this done, I'll go back and check it out. I'm going to see how that works, but as you can see, we've got that one, we've got that one, and honestly, I think this is going to last me um, hopefully another season or two, and uh, this is corroded pretty bad. This, not so bad, but nonetheless, it's starting to happen, and uh, let's go test this out. All right, guys, so as you can see, luckily this was an easy fix. I do want to acknowledge that I'm doing this video because I saw many other videos um, making reference to a part in here uh, somewhere in the internals. I didn't make it that far. I really wasn't looking forward to doing that. But uh, they reference calling Scott's, telling them about the problem, and some people say they had to pay for the part. Other people said they had it mailed to them directly. Um, neither of I didn't make it that far. I don't believe that that was my issue. My issue was over here with these with this little axle corroding. So again, I do that for that person who may think they don't want to be messing with that. that Maybe something as simple as putting these uh, bolts on each end. So I hope this really helped you out and uh, saved you some money. If you like the um, if you like this, don't don't forget to uh, give it a like. Be sure to subscribe, uh, and I appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for watching.